So we had uh, Ali Cater in goal. Uh, we had a back three of Ronald McKeeby, Sotirios Papagenopoulos and Tom Pettersson. And then we went uh, wing-backs to the left, Dennis Wiedegren and Sam Mensah to the right. And then we had Fouad Bacharou and Bruanuri, two central midfield players. We had um, Ken Sima off the left and Sam Angolos to the right with Al Haji Giro playing as the nine, stretching the game. Galatasaray were 4-4-2 were out of possession. We, we weren't 100% sure whether they would be 4-4-2 or 4-2-3-1, but as it was, uh, Belhanda was injured on the uh, build-up to the game, so they went 4-4-2 out of possession. Our idea, we tried to use um, Al Haji Giro when we had the ball to really um, sort of stretch their, their, their back four to put length into the game as much as possible um, to, to open up some spaces for uh, Saman and, and Ken uh, here. Um, the, the wing backs to sort of, sort of position to, to start to work their sort of midfield block here um, and then using Fouad and, and Brewer, uh, two central players behind their pressing strikers to, to, to attract the two midfielders. Um, of, of Galatasaray to again open up, up this space um, to the side of them. We used a, a, a back three with with the goalkeeper to to make it hard for them to, to to press us and to also again try to open up that space. If we beat their if we beat their press with with for example the right sided centre back here, um, we could play um, three versus two uh, against uh, Galatasaray's defensive structure to either receive the ball in the space here or to try and get the ball uh, in, in the space here and then we'd look to a attack the box with um, the rest of our team. Defensively we tried to, to put pressure high initially um, to, to make them uh, kick the ball longer because once they had a, a build up they were quite patient so we wanted to try and reduce the time we were out of possession um, and, and to do that we, we tried to split their back four with our front three and get ready if the ball went from goalkeeper to, to full back to, to sort of press laterally sort of in the wide areas here. So a wing back goes out to the full back and then a central midfield player, centre back, sorry, comes comes out and deals with their wide player on this side and we, we sort of come across in that situation. Um, but we also recognise that the, the quality of the goalkeeper was, was a, a really high level. So he would often be able to, um, they'd often be able to stretch us back here and open up some spaces for them to be able to deliver balls to their fullback um, and then beat our beat our press. But when they did that, that was a, the sort of cue for us to set back in a in a in a lower block. So we, we almost ended up in a, in a back five then with our two holding midfield players, and then um, our two wide players filled in the spaces. Um, Sort of zonally to, to to cover to cover these areas to the side of our midfield players. So as their front two are here, there's their. So once they once they've got the ball in a comfortable build-up situation, we we knew that the centre backs and the two midfield players would try to control the, the the game, be comfortable on the ball, to push their full backs into width, and then they would try and get bodies and players in between our lines here. So it was important for us that we to use the back five to be able to defend the half spaces uh, here um, and, and, and here and obviously tuck, tuck round when that was happening. To, so make sure that the distances for the midfield players weren't, weren't too big. Uh, we also wanted to make sure that the distances that these covered weren't uh, huge going uh, forward. So we use Al Hadji here to be able to uh, support that space. So this space became um, smaller with the use of a Haji. He would often drop back into, into, into supporting these two midfielders. Um, and then we played Saman and Ken on any, on any transition. So when they attacked down this side, if we could win the ball back in this area, um, we knew that there was a transition there and a transition there because they pushed the, the full backs on. And then the forward could run off from there. So the first goal, um, the ball went from Ali into um, Ronald. Uh, Sotte dr dropped into the box, which sort of sucked a bit of their pressure out. The pressure went to Ronald, into Sotirius. He found Brewer in between the space because the, the midfield players here were, were sort of kept in the line with, 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 with Fouad. He was able to play for the first line with, with Brewer. 
who could then find Saman, who'd who'd moved in between uh, behind their uh, next line of defenders, so he received a pass, has, pass here, so ultimately broke their sort of defensive lines, uh, which forced their their back line back. Uh, received it here to, to play to Ken Seema as the team moved up. Um, Sam Mensah could overlap and create a 2v1 in this situation. So, so made, made attracted him to the ball as the back four sort of fell back into, into the box. It enabled uh, our midfield player to, to, to make a run in behind into this area here for Ken Seema's pass here. And then Saman could receive the ball in the box for a, for a finish and the all-important first goal.